In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use your podcast to grow your business. Hey guys, welcome back to the Anchored Media channel. My name is Tatum Tamiya Ayomike. I am the CEO and executive producer here at Anchored Media. Now at Anchor Media, we are the number one company for monetizing podcasts, and we teach people how to do that in two ways. Get in the listener so that you can get sponsors, and then number two, funneling people into an existing business. This is my favorite part to talk about because it's something that you don't have to wait for in order to start doing. This is a way that you can position your show to make money from day one. Now, how you do that is first, you need to establish yourself as the expert on your platform. So your message needs to be clear, the problem that you solve needs to be clear, and how or the system that you use to solve that problem needs to be clear as well. Because now you're creating a conversation around the problem that, you're, that you solve, and you're grooming your audience to know you, like you, trust you, and be ready to invest in you to solve their problem. Now, the downside to podcasting is that there's no automatic way for you to communicate with your listeners outside of the RSS feed. So as the business owner, it's up to you to create that. And so one of the ways that I teach is to make sure that you have some type of offer or something of value that you can give to your consumers at the end of the episode. And so it can be as simple as, let's say if we were doing a podcast on how to grow your listenership, then I will talk about why it's important, why listeners is important, why community building is important on the podcast. I'll share some stories about how uh, growing a podcast has impacted my life, my business, all of these things. So this is the whole conversation that I'll have on the show. And then at the end of it, I will offer maybe some type of downloadable on some tips or free ways that listeners can grow their podcast. So what I did within the messaging of the episode is that I further proved why it's important for them to solve this problem of getting listeners. I also created a sense of urgency so I may have added something to the conversation about why they shouldn't wait to grow their listenership or however it is I needed to craft a message but I had to create that sense of urgency throughout the show so that that makes my offer that much more attractive to them to go ahead and sign up to learn how they can grow their listeners. Now this pulls my audience and my listeners into my pipeline. And then it's my job as the business owner to guide them into the sale with whatever my sales process is. I hope that makes sense. It is so seamless. Podcasting is a top of funnel strategy that you use to get people into the pipeline for your business. Now let's go back to being an expert for a second. If you are going to funnel listeners into a business, you need to make sure that you remain that expert on your show. A lot of podcasters lose credibility by having too many guests because if you do that, you're now the host and nobody wants to buy from the host. The host is just there to ask the question. You don't want to be the person there to ask the questions. You want to be the person there that solves problems. And so if you do have guests on your show, be strategic with it and have guests who used to be clients of yours that can speak to your expertise. Have guests who are in the position of your target audience where they have this problem that needs to be solved. So that just further drives home to your audience why they need to invest in you. So be strategic with the guests that you have on your show, but make sure that you don't hurt your credibility. So not only do you not need to overwhelm your show with guests, you definitely don't need to have guests on your show who do the same thing as you. Because you don't want to just get people in their business. You want to get people into yours. And then lastly, to just further do this to get people to your show and then consequently into your business, go on other podcasts as well to expand your audience. Because if you go on another podcast that has a, a community of your consumer, you already know their podcast listeners. And if they care what you have to say or if you did your job as the interviewee on that platform they're going to want to know more about you and guess what that's going to bring them over to your podcast and just further bring them into what your pipeline is for your business so that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when we post another video